Um, me and my fellow judges found it a really challenging decision this year, um, really strong art award. Um, each of us spent time in the gallery individually, just wandering around at our own pace, just, just getting a sense of the exhibition and each of the works um, that had been pre-selected. And that took most of the first day, really, of, of the judging process. And then we came together, each of the judges and I came together, and we, we talked about what we'd seen, um, how we responded to the, um, each of the um, entries for the, the different categories. And we talked about those in, in more detail and, until we made a decision. I think this year's winner is um, incredibly exciting. Like, it's a, you know, an amazing work by a very you know, senior Indigenous artist. Um, really opened our eyes up to um, the capacity of, of Indigenous artists to invent works that really excite us and to create works in unexpected ways using different materials, different processes, and it just it really captures the strength of the Indigenous art movement today. What I saw looking around the gallery is the remarkable way in which the finalists have all spoken about their traditions, connection to culture and country in a whole range of different mediums and, and for some retelling old narratives, particularly about colonisation or pastoral industry and and reclaiming those stories in an Aboriginal context. I think it was a very slow and quiet process where we all took the first day to just look at the work ourselves. We came together at the end for a brief discussion about where we were thinking. Um, and then today, more looking and listening to the works that really spoke to us and talking and then reaching our decision together. I think they will experience, I hope they'll experience a sense of wonderment at, at the magnificent works of art and appreciate the stories and the thought, thoughts that come with those stories and, and what the artists have tried to express through their work. I think it just opens up the whole world really to um, participate and see what the strengths and resilience is of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art and culture. It's very important that the nationally and wider community to support and promote each of the arts and the, the winners to support it and to embrace the artwork that is important to respect and have resilient and acknowledging the culture of Indigenous. And it's really good that Telstra Award is supporting our arts that will be acknowledging a way of sharing our culture and our artwork. It was very, it's important, but it, it was very hard to make decision for our recipients to, to acknowledge that. But it was very hard to come to make this decision about the winners because it's very important for them to show the artwork outside internationally and surrounding um, wider community. I think that's very important for all of us to 
pay respect and show show a resilience of learning each other culture and embracing it. Tommy May painting was very important uh, to to what I say it's about his painting is talking about his country and connection and the relationship of the people. It's very important sharing that.